Apparently it's fried, it's still got the stinger. We're gonna go in for it. Here we go. which is a very famous road for scams and food. Yeah, and shopping and stuff. It's, yeah. And foreigners go there all the time. Do they? Yeah, it's a foreigner place. Never been there myself. Mm -hmm. um, but we got to walk down this boulevard for six billion years. Yeah. It's this only about 1.3 k. We're okay. almost there. If you've studied any Chinese and you've used the Chinese textbooks, Wang Fu Jing is used in a lot of uh, dialogue examples in the textbook. And it's really funny because I actually got to visit the place that I have uh, studied so many times over and over again. Well, I'm filming you filming them and time-lapsing them. Oh, wow. So you're filming me filming all that. Look at that. That's meta as hell. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, Wang Fu Jing is just a shopping street, and it's full of luxury goods mostly, but it's really impressive because the buildings are quite modern and nice, and there's like a certain air of poshness to it. It's very high-class place, very first tier. Now, if luxury goods are not your thing, then be sure to head over to the famous Snack Street. Yeah, let's What's do your it. name, man? Hi. Uh, my name's Eric. Eric, cool. Yeah. And you watch uh, Low 86 and Serpent's NA? Yeah, I really like it. Really Fantastic. Yeah. Great to meet a subscriber on the street. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, this is the kind of place that foreigners love to go visit because of all the crazy, crazy foods. They have tarantulas and scorpions and all kinds of stuff like that. And if I didn't go there and try a scorpion, I would have let all you Lauiners down. So, enjoy. Okay. All right, for 25 kwai. All right, so it's uh, five dollars here for scorpions. You gotta do it, guys. I'm sorry. It's the. Uh... Honestly, I'm gonna have to take a selfie with it. No problem. Yeah. Scorpion selfie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. you ready guys? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. See you eat that thing. Apparently it's fried, it's still got the stinger. We're gonna go in for it. Here we go. It's disgusting. I was gonna say it's like surprisingly okay, but it's absolutely not okay. It tastes like a bug. Seriously, it tastes like an insect covered in oil. Well, let me take a, another picture of you eating that. It's not like horrible, but it's not pleasant. Yeah. Woo! Right, guys, uh, I'm gonna eat the scorpion jobby. Just because Simo had one, I'm gonna have one too. Solidarity. Yeah, it's really not nice. Pretty, pretty disgusting. Anything for TV? I'm not happy. Let's go get something real to eat. <laughs> okay. So guys, we're in a Beijing duck restaurant, Peking duck, Beijing kaya. It's a pretty swank, pricey sort of place. We're here with uh, Rick and Sea Milk, and we're going to have some yeah. Beijing duck. Beijing duck, or Peking duck, or Beijing kaoya, is probably the most well-known food export out of China. And a lot of people have tried it, but there is something really special about having it in Beijing. I, I actually hate eating avian skin. Oh really? Well, yeah, but I think I'll make an exception. So you dip it in the sugar. Well, there we go. It's very good. It tastes like skin and sugar. Eat a straight. Yeah. Two in sugar. Oh. Is it okay? To, is it yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, no you eat the skin on it straight. straight. Down in one straight. A lot of pressure. <laughs> no chopsticks being thrown down. <laughs> Not in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Now, a little low winter tip for all you guys out there. There are a lot of expensive restaurants to go get Beijing duck, and it's kind of like a tourist trap because everyone that goes to Beijing is gonna try it. But try to avoid the places like Chenjuda, which is the most famous restaurant, because each person can spend well over a thousand RMB. But if you go to a lesser known one, or the one that we went to, or one that local people go to to eat Beijing duck, you're gonna pay a lot less money. And we went to this really, really nice one that apparently other foreign tourists had found as well. But it was really spectacular, crispy, delicious. Just wrapping that duck skin in that delicious, delicious wrap with all the sauces and different toppings that you could put inside, it's otherworldly. It's one of the best foods I've ever had. So you have your wrap. Usually we take this sauce and kind of smear it on there. That's the base of it all. Pick some skins. Put it in your pancake. And then uh, pick your toppings. You got hoisin sauce. You got a... Uh, what is this? Put some other nonsense on there. Put some duck random bits of skin and meat, whatever. Look at that. It's like a French restaurant. In a plate. Wrap it up and eat it. Pretty much. And then what do you do? And then you roll her up. You don't usually use your hands when you do that anyway. I'm an American. And you bite, bite it. It's probably one of the best things you can eat in China, to be honest. A lot of my favorite. Cheers. Cheers.